Hey, welcome to another episode of Back From The Future and Mixtape Tuesdays. Now, today we're going to be talking about a new 3D printer that's come out made by Ultimaker. Now, I've got friends that have used the Ultim who used to have the original wooden Ultimaker 1 and then uh, the Ultimaker 2. And then those, uh, some of those other friends who had the Ultimaker 2 then upgraded to the 2 Plus. And so they gave me feedback on their experience on using Ultimaker. And what can I say? I think they're one of the most, uh, the best 3D printing uh, companies out there. Uh, I know a guy who also has had the Ultimaker 2 and the MakerBot 2X. Now the thing about the MakerBot 2X, and I'll, I'll do a separate video on that, that was an incredible, incredible 3D printer for the first month. It was, it's amazing. The thing about it is the components that it was made from, after using the 3D printer for a while, the components weren't strong enough. And because they were made out of ABS plastic or whatever, the warp bend, and it start, it would lose its accuracy and after a while it breaks. And you know, uh, so there were aftermarket uh, upgrades for that uh, 3D printer, which then brought it up to a standard that you could use the MakerBot 2X. But going back to the Ultimaker 2, um, from what uh, friends and uh, so forth have told me, really brilliant printer. Once you get it dialed in, once you get it tweaked in, amazing 3d printer then you got the upgrade to the 2 plus which took it on another level uh, the quality of the prints were better you could change the nozzle sizes and everything a great printer great experience and what i'll be doing in uh future videos is showing you some of the stuff that uh the stuff that i've invented using um these those two printers the makerbot 2x with the upgrade and the ultimaker uh with that upgrade as well so we'll get on to that in the future now the whole thing about this um, uh, Ultimaker S5 is that it's dual extrusion now they've done sort of dual extrusion in the past with the other subsequent printers and they played around with it but this time I think they've got it you know they own it now um, I haven't seen any of the dual uh, printed stuff but I'm imagining most of it's just the support layer uh, stuff that the dual printers do. The other thing about that printer is that uh, the nozzles are very very easy to change. Um, you get a bigger build volume. It's got a cast uh, aluminium bed to help prevent vibration. Another thing is it's got glass doors as well. Um, that's uh, I'd imagine to keep the heat in because the Altmaker 1 and 2 didn't have any covers around the front and sometimes um, because the heat couldn't build up in the cabinet it escaped um, the prints used to maybe uh, you know warp a little bit where the heat where there was lack of heat it dissipate the heat used to dissipate too quickly what I'm going to do is pass you over to Zelda and she's going to tell us a little bit about the printer S5 is the latest generation of 3d printers from Ultimaker with its active bed leveling ensures a perfect tenere a closed front controls airflow, and a filament flow sensor will pause your print and notify you when you are about to run out of filament. With the Ultimaker's unique core design, you can swap nozzles in seconds to switch between build and support materials. You can choose between 0.8 or 0.4, or for really detailed prints you can go down to 0.25. Last but not least you get a 4.7 inch touch display which makes using the S5 effortless, displaying visual guides to explain configuration changes and maintenance, plus a visual preview of your print. Pretty much Star Trek style technology on your desktop. Thank you Zelda uh, for that. Um, like I said, uh, the experiences I've had with the previous printers, the only one that I haven't used is the Ultimaker 3. Uh, but from what I've gone, solid, solid uh, pieces of equipment. The interesting thing I think about this printer is the accu how accurately uh, the printer can print stuff for industrial grade use, which is a big plus, uh, let me say. It's a big plus. I think I saw a video of um, them printing a exhaust manifold 
uh, for a car. So things like that, you know, open up so many possibilities and the technology is slowly starting to mature. Will I be getting one at five grand? No, not really. Um, I don't think um, the channel is large enough to warrant it, me needing that. Plus the Ultimaker 2 Plus that I have access to and the MakerBot 2X um, is enough for me. We've got those two printers dialed in to pretty much get what we want out of it. And but if you're already got some a project that requires a bigger build area, um, by all means, I think the Ultimaker S5 is the one to get. It, is, it looks like a brilliant. What I would uh, print. What I would say though is, don't rush out immediately and pick that printer up. Um, wait for it to come out and if there's any bugs in the system or anything that needs to get ironed out by all means um, I think that's a you know you should wait for that to happen also there are other things about an Ultimaker 5 that need to be mentioned the Ultimaker S5 can auto detect materials and print core configuration while over the air firmware upgrades make adding the latest features simple you have the ability to print over with the Ethernet from USB stick. You can monitor progress via the built-in camera. This 3D printer is for all you Einstein, Doc Brown, mother father lover inventors out there. Swing bada bada swing. You got to give me loving and you got to give me some. Hear that rude boy. I hear you Zelda. I hear you Zelda. On that note, uh Hope you enjoyed today's show. Please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. And follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And I'll see you in the future, if there is one.